Hello Virgo, I'm Priestess May from PriestessMay.com and I'm here to give you your July 2019 tarot reading. So Virgo, everyone is looking forward to your season because it looks so far like when your season is around, things are going to be doing pretty good. But let's see how July is going to be for you, Virgo. Let's see what July is bringing this Virgo season. Um, now, we all know that a lot of us Virgos, we have a hard time expressing what we want to say and expressing our feelings so let's go ahead and see what is going on with that what is july going to bring you and what is the advice of your guides let's go ahead and take a look so this is a collective message if it uh, if it feels like it resonates with you then take it if it doesn't feel like it resonates with you then you don't have to now keep in mind if you also this will apply to your sun your moon and your rising sign if you are a virgo as well all right, Virgo, so you are focused on money this month. Okay, so Virgo, this month I'm seeing the Ten of Coins coming up, which to me represents either a spiritual inheritance or the ability to create inheritances. So this tells me that you're very focused right now on your money, focused on building a future for yourself and future generations in your family. This tells me that you want something that you want to hand down and you want to hand it hand down and 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 pass down from generation to generation. You want that that you want that generational security as well where you have that inheritance and that's those savings and traveling the world and that's great. Now the 7 of cups is coming up for you here which tells me that because of that you are putting your eggs in too many baskets, okay? So you are putting your your you're starting too many projects at the same time. Now is not the time to focus on so many projects. Try to narrow down the projects that you are going to focus on. Try to um, keep yourself focused on a particular outcome or not an outcome but a particular path towards your overall outcome okay now at next to this is the seven of coins which tells me that you will start to see more money coming your way very quickly if you just focus on one path because here i am also seeing you ending some situations if you're a virgo and you're dealing with a leo i see that relationship ending Okay, that relationship is going to end pretty quickly, but you already know that it's for the best, Leo. However, I do also see some of you having some soul bonds that will form between Virgo and Leos coming up here. Again, we have the temperance coming up by this with the six of wands. The six of wands and the temperance is all about if you're patient you will be rewarded. So there will be a reward and that reward will be allowing you to build that generational wealth. But if you push and you do this, which is having way too many things going on at the same time, you can always start with one thing and then layer on other things. If you start with too many things at once, you will end up destroying things for yourself. Um, now, the tower isn't always a bad thing. The tower is a symbol of things falling apart to set you up for the future. So if you are a Virgo that has been dealing with a lot of things falling apart or feeling like there's a lot of situations that are happening to you that you can't control, know that your guides are setting you up for success. So there might be some betrayals that you're dealing with right now. There might be some money loss that you're dealing with right now, but it's all being set up for this generational wealth for this success and all that your guides are asking for is patience okay so have patience have faith have trust that what's happening to you right now is not because you're a bad person but rather because things are being set up for future success if you would like to book a deep reading with me where it is more specific to your case please visit priestessmay.com and book a reading many blessings Mwah. bye